We've seen in this chapter that economists have been trying maybe for a hundred years to explain to societies how they should administer them op their open public access uh, common resources through taxes. So, for instance, uh, taxes are actually called Piguvian taxes. Uh, for Pigou, who uh, explained them maybe uh, almost a hundred years ago, or uh, quotas or exclusive permit. But uh, here, let's wake up to the fact that humans have been doing things their own way for a way longer stretch of time. Uh, we are going to illustrate this with three examples of one of, uh, of our oldest activities. So hunting, gathering, and fishing. Here uh, we start with hunting. So this is a website by uh, Randall Munro called XKCD. I uh, highly recommend it if you are a geek who likes uh, math and uh, computer science. And here what he's showing is the uh, a graphical representation of Earth's land mammals by weight. Humans, uh, we, we occupy quite a large portion of it, so it's in dark gray here. We're almost uh, 8 billion in 2020. Uh, and the light gray is all of our domestic animals, so privately owned. Uh, this is the cattle, pigs, goats, sheep, horses. Uh, so imagine that I want to go and hunt for my dinner like my ancestors. Uh, is it uh, easy to find uh, wild animals? Well, there still are some around, but uh, they're quite uh, far apart. So this looks uh, quite surprising. For instance, where are the elephants? Well, they have their own square there, but uh, pretty f not that close to uh, being uh, totally disappeared. So this excludes uh, birds, for instance, but uh, just uh, just you must remember that uh, there are a lot of chicken around. Actually, 25 billion uh, almost in the world now. So that's th about three chicken per human being. So quite a lot to go around. So the picture wouldn't uh, really change if we included birds in there. Uh, so what does that look like to you? Well, to me, it looks like a victory. So we have invaded Earth. There is almost no uh, nature anymore. Well, there is nature, but uh, in terms of the importance of animals, then uh, it's, uh, there's just no question that uh, privately owned animals have totally replaced uh, open access uh, uh, free game. So that's uh, land animals now. Uh, the uh, similar as, uh, uh, picture in, ter in terms of uh, forest versus uh, agriculture. So this is the total uh, forest versus uh, total agriculture land mass from 1992 to 2016. It doesn't go uh, before that because uh, the data is quite scarce, but still it's quite obvious that uh, forest areas are always in decline. It's not that fast, so we have to keep in mind uh, this scale is uh, uh, it's not that uh, that large, but still the movement is quite obvious, whereas uh, agricultural land always uh, increases. And uh, just to have, uh, so sometimes we see that the uh, picture is worth a hundred words or maybe is worth uh, one graph. So this is uh, Amazon deforestation seen from space from uh, this. So that's the same area in 2000, in uh, 1975 and 2012. So where is that, uh, that forest going? Well, it's going to agricultural, uh, agricultural use again and not, uh, not any agriculture. Uh, 95, 91% uh, of the land deforestation in Brazil is uh, going to feed livestock uh, pasture. And in the world, it's uh, 77%. So 77% of the reason why we, uh, we uh, use uh, land for farm is going to feed all of this uh, blob of animals there. So maybe not the most uh, efficient way of doing things, but uh, well, all of uh, humanity now uh, is uh, wants to have a lifestyle where they can eat meat at every meal. So that's uh, what we have to do, uh, the sacrifice we have to, to do to uh, accept that. 
Um, and then last example, phishing. So uh, we have been using phishing for a while. Uh, so is, is there any hope for uh, the C? Well, this is uh, the evolution of uh, C catches uh, in red versus uh, aquaculture in blue from 1960 to 2015. So uh, as uh, it's obvious, so uh, capture fisheries are stagnating, uh, have been stagnating since the 1990s. And uh, for many f species of large fish, as we've seen, uh, they're in decline. And for the first time in the human uh, history, in 2014, aquaculture has uh, out outweighed uh, capture fisheries in terms of uh, feeding the world. And uh, look at the trend, it's uh, never turning back. So now, from now on, uh, aquaculture is exactly like the other cultures. Uh, it's, uh, it's privately owned and, um, and uh, yeah, the sea itself is uh, going to be emptier and emptier. Uh, now, is it, uh, now am I saying that this is the solution? So I'm just, now this is just the, the, picture of what's happening. Uh, obviously, there are many cases in which uh, this is difficult to apply. So for instance, in terms of, um, of the sea, while well, it's uh, farming large fishes, such as tuna or swordfish is uh, very difficult to do, almost uh, impossible at this point, or other large sea animals like whales, for instance, you, even though uh, some countries still like to eat whales. The, there's uh, no way we could uh, farm whales at, at that point. Maybe it can uh, occur someday if people invent uh, artificial meat or uh, artificial uh, fish meat, for instance, but uh, it's still not uh, for today. Uh, last point I have to say about uh, this too is uh, I'm not saying that the free market can replace every other natural resource. It's replacing resource, uh, resources that have a uh, high market value, food, so we, uh, because uh, people have to eat. But maybe people value also things that uh, are not as immediate in their lives, such as basically just the, the no, knowing the fact that, for instance, the Amazon exists and there are nice uh, animals out there then it might bring joy uh, to people around the world to know that this is there. But since they're not ready to maybe buy some piece of land of the Amazon uh, and pay for it, well, uh, there is no real market value and, uh, and it just cannot exist in uh, today's uh, capitalistic economy. Uh, same thing for a clean ocean. So, uh, we, somebody has to pay for it, or there has to be at some point a uh, market value for clean uh, oceans or clean uh, rivers. And uh, until that point, well, private markets can, just cannot uh, replace uh, this uh, this nice public good that was uh, have been created by the world since uh, millions of years and now is uh, being replaced at a high pace. Uh, so this is uh, the story of... Um, of common access, open access resources. So we're uh, now going to uh, use a very similar model to look at another, let's say, challenging situation that uh, humanity is going to face uh, in the not so far for future, uh, this, uh, which is the climate crisis. So uh, yeah, so let's continue uh, for the next chapter.